Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be making the enemy attack us. So let's get started. First I want to go to my scripts folder and I want to organize this a bit better. So I'll go create folder and I'll go player. And then I'll take everything that the player needs and put it in there. So camera controller, right? We have the player inventory, of course. Player motor, pl player pickup, player stats, player UI. We'll all put that there. And then we'll get a new folder for inventory. And then I'll get the item ID. I'll get the weapon. I will get the gun item database. And I'll just put those in the inventory. And also weapon switch. I could put it into the player because it is only used by the player. So I'll just go ahead and drag it. Right now in here, we're just going to leave these here. I'll go ahead and open up the enemy script. And in here last time we created a method to tell us when to stop and when to go to the target, aka the player. Now this is actually very good because now all we can do is whenever we stop the enemy, it means that the distance between the enemy and the player is less than the stopping distance, which we declared in the inspector. I think it was something like 2.5 or 3.5, something like that. So basically what that means, whenever we stop, we want to attack. So how would we attack? In here, I could just go ahead and say target dot get component. So basically we get the player, then we get the component. We want to get the character stats on the player dot take damage. If you remember correctly, in our character stat script, we created a method that is called take damage and it takes in a float damage. And basically what it does, it takes our current health and then it just decreases it by damage. Here you can just input a number or you can just go ahead and create a damage script on the enemy, a damage uh, var variable on the enemy. I'll just go ahead and make that serialized field or serializable and then I'll go float damage right and uh, we'll set that in the inspector and i'll just feed the damage here so every time the enemy stops right now or every frame that the distance is less than the stopping distance our player should lose H hp of course we first need to change the damage on the enemy to something like 10 maybe i think that's pretty decent and you can see that our health is already at like minus thousand two thousand something because he's doing it every frame that distance is less than the stopping distance which is probably like 60 times a second what we have to do is create a cooldown system that tells him when to attack shouldn't be too hard but uh, let's see how that goes i'll create a new float that will be called last attack time and i'll set it to zero at first and then I'll create a new flow that will be called attack cool down. And I'll set it to, well, I'll set it to one. So he attacks each second. Or actually, let's do two. So he attacks two seconds. So whenever we stop the enemy, we want to go ahead and check if we can attack. So we want to check if time dot time, which is the time that passed in game minus last attack time is lower than or is less than attack cooldown let me explain this a bit if you're a bit confused so time the time is the time that passed in game for example let's say that we're playing the game for 10 seconds and this is the first time attacking so last attack time is zero because we set it to zero in here so 10 minus zero is 10 and then this shouldn't actually be less than, it should be more than. I'm sorry, that's my mistake. So if 10 minus 0 is bigger than attack cooldown, which is 2, then we can attack and then we just go ahead and uh, take this, put it inside the if statement. And for example, whenever we attack, we want to go last attack time equals to time dot time. Alright, so now time dot time is equal to last attack time which means if we try to do this the next frame we're going to go 10 point something 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 let's say just it's 10 because it's not very important 
to get the small numbers. So 10 minus 10 is zero. So in this case, zero is not bigger than two and we can't attack. Now time has to go to 12 seconds. So two seconds have, have to pass. And then 12 minus 10 is bigger than uh, two or is equal to, let's just say equal or bigger because that's uh, a bit better or bigger and equal like this. And then two is equal to two and then we can attack. Time that time gets set, set to 12, then we have to wait to 14, aka two seconds, then 14 minus 12 equals uh, to two and then we can attack again. Okay, so current health is going down, but it's not updating in the um, in the UI here, and that's uh, that's pretty easy to fix. Now, every time we do that, we also want to every time we attack, we also want to go ahead and say target get component again. The same thing here, you can just copy paste this, and then instead of going take damage, we'll go check health. If you remember in our player stats we have a check health or actually in our character stats also we have a check health method that just checks if uh, our health is less than zero or something so it doesn't get broken and also in our player stats we do the same thing except except we also set stats which updates the UI and right now if we comes close to us you can see that our health starts going down every two seconds hopefully I'll see you next time and uh, you can go follow me on my social media. There's links to that in the description. And bye-bye. Uh,